Cincinnati goes to Texas Tech, and I am getting roasted by Texas Tech fans because I picked against them last week against Arizona State, and I apologize. Like, <laughs> I'm just picking ball games, guys. I don't have any vendetta here. Uh, but look, at Stats Model has Cincinnati favored by five. Power rating plus stats has got Texas Tech favored by half a point, not even half a point, point two three points in this. Uh, Texas Tech is favored by two and a half in this game. 59 and a half is the total. It opened at three and a half. It's come down to two and a half. Uh, there are still some threes out there. So I was able to get one of those with Cincinnati. And I say that, but I've recorded this too late. And now there's only two and a halves. Boy, that just sucks. That just sucks. Okay. So let's write it down. I like Cincy here. Uh, I think Cincy, their offense is really good at throwing the ball. Brendan Soresby has been an absolute magician with the football, with this offense. Uh, they're not able to run it great, but they run it enough, right? They're only running 48% of the time. But they're number 69 in PPA per rush. Well, Texas Tech's defense is number 76 in that uh, rushing success rate. Cincy is number 59, and Texas Tech is number 80. Rushing explosiveness, Texas Tech number 105. I... It is what it is, right? It's Cincy not great at points per scoring opportunity, but they get down there enough. It is what it is. On the other side, uh, Texas Tech, number 32 in PPA per pass. Uh, Morin is... Is it Morin? Boy, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, a lot of information going in and out of this brain this week. Uh, really every week during the football season because I'm talking about 134 different teams. Like it's bananas. Uh, Marin, Yes. Marin is the quarterback's name for Texas Tech. Okay, anyway, number 32 in PPA per pass. Well, Cincy's defense is number 66. On the other side, running the ball, Texas Tech has not been great. Now, that might get alleviated because Brooks is back, uh, but they're number 87 in PPA per rush. A lot of this has to do with the offensive line. So they're number 60 in offensive line yards, number 94 in stuff rate allowed. Well, Cincy isn't great at either one of those either. So I think both teams are going to be able to score here. I I feel strongly about this. Since he does not let teams score once they get into scoring position, uh, Texas Tech's number 22 at finishing drives, and Cincinnati is number 15 at defending it. So you might see some field goals, stuff like that. I uh, I feel fairly strongly about that. Texas Tech, number 128 in penalties per game. Uh, they are number 115 in penalty yards per game, so 76.8 hidden yards that they are missing per game. Uh, Cincinnati is number... 23 in penalties per game, only 4.8, so 42.3 penalty yards per game. That's number 32 in the country. There are some things fundamentally that I feel like Cincinnati does a little bit better. Cincy is number 42 in five factors plus talent, and Texas Tech is number 51. So I think that Cincy is a bit more efficient. Scott Satterfield revenge tour. Um, I will take Cincy plus the two and a half. Texas Tech fans, don't kill me on this. I'm just making a pick on the game based on the stats. Your team put up these stats. Damn it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.